then it, it, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on about all this technology with no consideration to who thinks up this technology. All the technology that we need for this to work has already been thought up. It's just a matter of applying that technology. And then for future innovations, we can just extrapolate forward. That's something that this crazy old guy is really good at. Who makes all these machines? Who makes this technology? Who makes the machines that do all this stuff? Who tends to the machines that do all this stuff? It's just machines all the way down, apparently. Apparently we make machines now, and the machines make other machines, and those machines repair the first machines that then make more machines that repair the second machines that repair the first machines that make more machines that start actually finally being able to farm stuff. Apparently, that's how it's supposed to work, but we just have all these machines everywhere doing everything for us, so we don't have to do a thing. Well, that'd be kind of boring, just not doing a thing. I mean, sure, there's going to be, you know, all sorts of machines creating machines and so on and so forth, but that doesn't mean that humans are going to become completely useless. They're, they're still going to have interests, passions that they want to pursue, and it's going to be a system that's going to encourage that, and it's going to free people to pursue their passions. Basically, the children of the future are going to be raised to value innovations. You know, they're going to be curious about the world, and they're going to learn all about the world. They're going to learn about these machines, all right? And they're going to figure out all sorts of ways of improving them. Uh, when we're talking about, like, getting rid of jobs and so forth, we're really just kind of talking about getting rid of the repetitive, monotonous labor that no one wants to do. There are other jobs that are people's passions, all right? And like I said, we're freeing people to pursue their passions. You know, so there's going to be people interested in the machines. There's people going to be interested in improving them, uh, keeping an eye on them, you know, m making sure that things are functioning right. If things aren't functioning right, you know, if there's flaws in the system, and there will be flaws, you know, there's, it's, uh, you know, you're dealing with technology, sometimes technology malfunctions, Sometimes you have to replace a part or an entire machine or whatever. You know, these are things that are going to happen, all right? And there are going to be people who are going to be interested in doing that. You know, it's going to be a culture that's raised with this value of giving a fuck of what's going on, you know? And this is going to be very interesting stuff to the people of the future. It's very interesting stuff to many other people of today, like myself, for example. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's, uh, it's not anything that's going to be an area of a problem or anything. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, the people of the future are going to have a much higher knowledge base. They're going to be more expansive than the people of the, of today. Just like the people of today have a much higher knowledge base and are more expansive than the people of 2,000 years ago. And how the people of 2,000 years ago had a much higher knowledge base and were more expansive than the people of thousands of years before that. It's just an ongoing line of progress. You know, the, the point is just to keep moving forward, keep making improvements to the system, you know, not to ever just cling on to an old way of doing things. It's basically uh, recognizing that uh, maybe an old way of doing things is just the be best way of doing things up until a certain point when we learn how to do things a better way, you know? So uh, that's what's going on there. Don't like mistake what I'm saying as like you know thinking that I'm I'm, I'm saying that just because that, that because something's an old way of doing it that means we just abandon it. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if we have a better way of doing things, we do it that way. All right. It's it's basically just a really crazy technocrat utopian ideal. No, we're not trying to build a utopia. We're just trying to improve things. Was the Super Nintendo a utopian concept? No! Nintendo 64 came afterwards. We're just talking about improving things. You know, upgrade, 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 upgrade. It's not fucking utopian. Time. I only have so much time. Now, I could go out and tend to the machine that farms the fields, or tend to the machine that tends to the machine that tends to the machine that farms the field, or whatever. I could go do that, but I only have so much time. What is in it for me? What do I get for my time if I go tend that out machine? Well, if that's your attitude, you're probably not the right person for the job. However, in the future, people are going to be dabblers. In our current system, it, it, we have all sorts of limitations. You know, people, like, pursue specific career paths. All right, they have, like, all sorts of interests, but there's, like, one specific thing that they per 
that they pursue a career in. And, you know, then by the time it's time to retire, you know, they're happy because they're kind of wiped out on that particular matter. And it's time then to go pursue the other areas of interest in what time they have left in their limited existence. Uh, <clears throat> in the future, you know, people are, like I said, they're going to be dabblers, all right? There's not going to be like one set career path for any given birth person, you know? It, people are going to be expansive, you know? They're going to be interested in all sorts of different areas. You're going to have uh, archaeologists who are at, uh, also... Uh, 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 theoretical physicists or something like that, you know, they're or people who are just like interested in the phenomena and the cosmos as well as, you know, what's going on in our ancient cultures. You have people like that today, like myself, for example. All right. Neither of these are career fields. They're just things that I'm interested in. Uh, and if I had more freedom, then I could pursue those interests uh, a lot more in depth. I would be an astrophysicist and a theoretical physicist and I would be an archaeologist. I, there's all sorts of things that I would be if I had the freedom to be them, but this system that we're in is so limiting and confining. You know, it's just when you have to work a boring, monotonous job and you're doing that like almost full time, then it's, it's like when you get up, when you get off of work, what do you want to do? You want to go home and sit in front of the TV and laze around. Our system, this system that we're in, is making us lazy. All right, so we're we're trying to bring about a system that's going to make people want to get up off their ass and fucking do something. 